Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax and today we will discuss about the International Graduate Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So if this is your first time to hear about the AIPP or the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, I strongly suggest, I strongly suggest to watch the first video that I made um, about Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program over you overview i'll put a link on the description below or a link on this video in the right on the left upper corner of this video i'll put a link so i'll strongly suggest before you watch this video watch the first one the overview how the atlantic pilot program works what are the requirements what are the three programs i already discussed about the proof of funds the language test so on that video, I strongly advise guys to watch it first before you jump on this video. But anyway guys, we will discuss now, we will focus on this video, we will focus on International Graduate Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. The common question, the common question that we receive from our Facebook page, um, Sir, if I'm planning to get a student visa in Toronto, can I use the AIPP to get a permanent resident so that's the questions that we will answer on the next slide so um the question the, the next slide is the eligibility criteria for international graduates it's very important that you know your criteria or i you know the eligibility criteria for international graduates so you are qualified to use the international graduate of AIPP if you live in Atlantic province for at least 16 months or two years before getting your degree, diploma, or credential. So it's very clear, guys, that you must be in Atlantic provinces or Atlantic province, Atlantic province before uh, applying for AIPP international graduate. So if you are studying in Toronto, you cannot use this because it's very clear. It's very it's very clear. It's stated here that have lived in Atlantic province for at least 16 months in the two years before getting your degree. Means you are finished your course because you're getting your degree, your diploma, or your credential. So and of course, the language tests that are required, uh, the language I already discussed it on the first video. So the language test that is required here are CLB4. So the CLB4, I, uh, this, is, this is the best thing about AI, AIPP. CLB4, for me, in my perspective, it is very easy to achieve because... On the previous video, because I, I advise you guys to get the highest score as possible, get the 8, get the 7. Personally, guys, it's very hard to get 7 in IELTS. But on AIPP, the requirement language test, or sorry, the required language CLB score is only 4. So, of course, you will not get four, get as much as possible, the highest score, but then the minimum required are only CLB4. And, of course, we discussed about the proof of funds on the first video. Um, for me, comparing the AIPP program versus the Federal Express entry, the proof of funds here are very low compared to uh, Federal Express entry entry so uh the best thing about the proof of funds so if you are four members if you are a four members it means that you your spouse and your two kids the required proof of funds for aipp is 5885 compare to the federal express entry which is our entry here in canada the required proof of fund Proof of funds for four members is 23,000. So you can see the difference. All right. So the next slide is we will discuss about the education requirements. So what is the education requirements for international graduates 
in at, uh, under Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So, you must at least two-year degree, two years degree diploma certificate or trade or apprenticeship uh, credential from a recognized publicly funded institution in Atlantic province uh, province here uh, pr uh, Atlantic province uh, so the question now is what is the four province under Atlantic province well so when you talk about Atlantic province what are the provinces that is included so I'm going to highlight this part uh, credential you must have you must have at least two years two year degree diploma certificate or trade apprentice from a credential apprenticeship credential from a recognized publicly funded institution in Atlantic province so when you are talking about Atlantic province we are talking about New Brunswick, New Newfoundland, Labrador, Nova Scotia, and PEI. So again, guys, what is the recognized publicly funded institution? So it means that you must have your degree only to the school that are publicly funded institution in Atlantic Pilot Program. It means, guys, even though you are a student visa currently studying here in Can uh, in Atlantic province you cannot use the international graduate of AIPP if that school or the school that you enrolled are not under the recognized publicly funded institution so it's very important to take note get a pen get the paper write this one write the recognized publicly funded institution so i'm going to show you by uh province to province so for new brunswick for new brunswick the these are the list the list of school the publicly funded uh in atlantic province so we start from new brunswick there's a college of community do you know of New Brunswick? That's a uh, French. I don't know how to read that one. There's a Maritime College of Forest Technology, Mount Allison University, New Brunswick College of Craft and Design, New Brunswick Co Community College, St. Thomas University, University de Moncton, University of New Brunswick, and, New and University of New Brunswick, St. Jean. So these are the school that is they call recognized publicly funded institution so the question now sir i am currently in atlantic provinces let's say i am currently in new brunswick but um i enrolled in that is not listed here it's very clear guys that if you are not enrolled here in the they call the recognize publicly funded institution you cannot use the international graduate aipp so again let's jump to another province of course the nova scotia so if you are planning to get a student visa and you want to use the aipp international graduates it is very very important that the school must be publicly record a publicly funded institution so if you are in nova scotia acadia university atlantic school of theology cape breton university dalhousie mount uh, mount saint vincent university nova scotia college of art and design nova scotia community college saint francis Xavier university saint mary university university saint and so this is under Nova Scotia. So let's jump to Prince Edward. So there's a college, the Elf. I don't know how to pronounce it again, or I don't know how to read it, but it's College the Elf. Holland College and University of Prince Edward Island. And the second one, the last one is the New Newfoundland, which is the College of the North Atlantic, Memorial University of Newfoundland. So these are the least of school 
um in a publicly funded institution so and another thing that you need to remember if you want to use the international graduate if you are planning to get a student visa and then later on you're going to use the AIPP for your permanent resident um, you must be a full-time student for the entire duration of the study you graduated from this institution in 24 months before we receive your permanent resident application you live in one of the Atlantic province for at least 16 months in two years before getting your degree diploma or education credential and you have a visa or a permit you needed to work to study or train in Canada so again guys if you are planning to get a student visa if you are planning to study here in Canada, maybe try. Uh, if you're planning to get a student visa here in Canada, maybe try the AIPP, International Graduate, because the AIPP is a good, there's a good chance to be a permanent resident. So in the AIPP program, there are three programs, the international student, the high skill, and the intermediate. For international, for international graduate, this is the requirement. You must at least two-year degree. So let's say, for example, you are planning to get a student visa, um, get a two-year course, two-year course, because that's the requirement, two-year course in a recognized publicly funded institution. So um, I already discussed about the publicly funded institution. Uh, just check on the previous uh, slide so yeah uh, you must be a full-time so you need to be a full-time student for the entire duration of the study so if you are two years studying for two years you must be a full-time student and then uh, you graduated from this institution in the 24 months before you graduated from the institution in the 24 months before we receive your permanent resident application so you must have a 24 months before you process your permanent resident and you live in one of the Atlantic provinces which is the New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland and PEI. So you must have a visa or permit you needed to work or study or train here in Canada. So you need to apply for student visa if you are planning to get an international graduate. So this is about the immigration pilot program and uh, this is the international graduates under international, uh, sorry, this is the international graduate, international graduates under Atlantic immigration pilot program. So I'll show you a link. I'll put this link on the description below. This link is from the Canada.ca. It discusses about the step by step of Atlantic immigration pilot program. Again, guys, before we end this video, I just want to to say that thank you very much for supporting when in Halifax. If you find it helpful, please like share this video subscribe to our channel if you have question please comment it below in the in the video or send us a message on facebook because we will try our best to answer your question your inquiries um but then guys always remember that when in halifax is not an immigration consultant we are not we're, uh, we're not an agency what we are doing is what i'm doing is sharing information what we understand all the information that you are seeing in the slide is from canada.ca so i will strongly suggest if you are planning to migrate here in canada try to visit the official website of canada the government of canada which is the canada.ca because all the information that you needed for your application are in that website. Again, guys, it's Joey. Thank you very much. See you in our next video. Our next video, we will discuss about the high-skilled high -skilled program 
of AIPB. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.